I don't want you guys getting too excited about this video. We are talking about cable transfer speeds and bandwidth after all, so if you can hold your excitement in just a bit while I try and get through this, it'd be much appreciated. So this is a high definition multimedia interface cable, an HDMI cable. We've all got loads of them and you use them to hook up to your TV, your games console, maybe your computer. So far, there's been two main standards, 1.4 and 2.0. The problem is they do all look the same, so it can be quite hard to tell what you've got. But chances are you're using HDMI 1.4. That's still the most common. Anyone with a full HD TV or a PS3 or an Xbox 360, one of the older consoles, will be using 1.4. But if you've got a fancy 4K TV or maybe one of the latest Xboxes or the PS4, you're gonna be using a HDMI 2.0. And the main difference is just the amount of data that can go through one of these. The more data you can push through, the higher resolution, the higher the frame rate, the HDR, more fancy features you can push through. Now, as you know, this is a high-end professional YouTube channel, so there's no expense spared when it comes to explaining technical details. So if I can draw you to my Google Doc here, I will show you what's gonna happen with HDMI 2.1, starting with the most common 1.4, which will get you 10.2 gigabits per second of data through the cable. Very exciting. And that's a pretty good number. It will get you 1080p at 60 FPS or 4K at 30, but you know, we're a bit beyond that now. So then HDMI 2 came out, which the uh, latest Xbox or PS4 use or your fancy new 4K TV. HDMI 2 can transfer 18 gigabits per second. So that's about 80% more than 1.4. That's great, that can deliver 4K 60 and high dynamic range and a whole bunch of audio stuff, but it's still not good enough, especially going forward, because over the last year, the HDMI forum, such a thing does exist and sounds fascinating if you're into your uh, cable transfer speeds and bandwidth, which I'm sure you are. And they finally settled on the spec for HDMI 2.1, which is very exciting because we've gone from 10 to 18 to 48 gigabits per second transfer speeds. So as you'd expect, this can do a lot more. You can get 4K at 120 FPS with 12-bit color, or you could get 8K, still with 12-bit color. You can even get 10K through this cable, although that's gonna be more for commercial usage because no one's really shooting in 10K. To be fair, they're not even really shooting in 8K, but the thing is, it's like chicken or the egg. One of them has to come first. So you're probably saying, well, there's barely anything in 4K. Why am I gonna bother with 8K and 4K 120? Well, it's just future-proofing, and that means content can be developed and created for it. Something has to come first and it unlocks loads of other things like dynamic HDR, which is kind of similar to Dolby Vision, but it's where the display can alter the contrast and the brightness. And you can also get uncompressed 7.1 high bitrate audio for your Dolby Atmos or your DTSX audio. And it's actually a really big deal for gamers as well for kind of three reasons. One, you can get like 4K at 120 Hertz, so high refresh rate 4K, which would be great. But also it supports variable refresh rates, which is a bit like Nvidia's G-Sync or AMD's FreeSync. That reduces screen tearing and stuttering and gives you a more stable, smooth frame rate overall. There's also something called quick frame transport, which reduces the latency of the cable. So when you're playing games, you'll get less input lag. So when's this happening? When are you gonna get HDMI 2.1? Well, not for some time. They're kind of still testing it, compliance testing of the next six months. So you're probably looking at products towards the second half of 2018. And obviously we're not all gonna suddenly have loads of 8K movies to watch. It's up to the developers and the content creators to push content out for it. But you do need that hardware in place so people can then actually watch what they shoot because most Hollywood movies now are shot in 8K and then cropped in and uh, edited down. But what you will notice pretty much straight away is the variable refresh rate and the quick frame transport. If you're playing on the Xbox One X or playing PC, these gaming features will be, should be instantly noticeable. I think it's actually pretty exciting for cable transfer speeds, which obviously is a very hot topic and everyone loves to talk about, but it's gonna make a big difference for movies and videos and gaming in 2018 and 2019. So stay tuned for 2.1. Don't worry for now, there's nothing you can really do, it's not out yet. I just wanted to let you know what's coming, why it's a pretty big deal, and we should all be kind of excited about it. So thank you very much for bearing with me, I do appreciate that. If you enjoyed the video, click that like and subscribe button down there. Help me get to 200,000 subscribers, that'd be a big help. And I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.